Welcome to PCB Heaven Tech Labs. In this video, I will show you the progress of my next project, which is the the door key lock uh, automatic system. I don't know the name yet. It, it will be actually a system that uh, opens my apartment's door with uh, this servo, and uh, it will have uh, a keypad with touch buttons. I think there will be like uh, 12 buttons or something. Anyway, I will see this later. So, at this moment I have uh, the circuit ready. As you see it's uh, battery operated and that is why I need to have very small current draw of the circuit whenever it's not used so for this I use the slip function of the PIC if you're familiar with the PIC microcontroller you probably know this uh, slip function which puts the microchip into slip and draws very little current as a matter of fact I have connect this uh, multimeter and I have it on the scale of 2 milliamps and it measures 0 0.016 that is that's, that is 16 microamps which is very low so uh, I have this switch here that will be a switch connected to a read uh, switch or I don't know connected to something that when I pull the door then the microchip will come out of the sleep will, will wake up in some way so look what happens when this pin is uh, actuated So you see it goes to approximately 1 milliamp and it will stay there as long for about 3 seconds but if no button is pressed for these 3 or 5 seconds I don't remember the number it will go back to sleep it's more than 3 seconds something like 8 or 10 seconds ok now it's, it went back to sleep again and I will take this multimeter out of the circuit because I don't want to interfere with the servo so I disconnect the multimeter ok, now this is the circuit and let's see what I have done first of all I use Oops. I used uh, four AA batteries for power supply because they will be inside the door and I don't want to go every time inside the door and change the batteries and uh, I do, will not use rechargeable batteries for the same reason instead I will use alkaline batteries which have longer life or something else I don't know Anyway, so I get 3 volts and not 6 volts from the whole battery pack. I get only 3 volts for the microchip because I want to drop the current draw as low as possible. And I get the whole 6 volts to, uh, for, the, for the servo. This is the servo. If you have, have watched my previous video, I have a similar servo already installed in my door key lock mechanism to further decrease the current draw when the circuit is not used I have added this relay that completely uh, disengages the servo from the circuit whenever it's not used and to have better efficiency when the circuit is operated this relay 
is a latching relay and not a simple so what this means is that the coil needs to be activated just for about a hundred milliseconds and then it uh, stays in the set position or the reset position uh, alone without current so this helps me reduce the operating current draw a lot further and also I have this diode here Whoa. anyway so let's see now how this works I have also this active this passive uh, buzzer here for the sounds and these are the five one two three four five the five wires that will go to the 12 buttons or 9 buttons touch touchpad and currently the code to enter to enter the key lock is one two three four five no one two three four and the fifth wire is the enter button so let's simulate the whole procedure first I pull the door I pull the door to activate the circuit and you will see this red LED blinking you may not see it okay. now you see it this means that the circuit is activated and it, it will blink a couple of times and now that and when it stops it means that the circuit is in sleep mode again I can only press a button as long as the LED uh, flashes so now it has stopped flashing so I cannot press a button nothing happens I have to pull the door again and now I can enter the code which is one two three four and now I have to press the enter key oh I press it wrong it's one two three four and now I you, you didn't see the servo again I pull the door of course when the when you the circuit uh, closes but closes the servo again it goes to sleep auto automatically because it's supposed that the operator has opened the door has gone inside so I press the code again I pull the door and go like one two. and the servo and now the servo will turn off okay so you have three seconds from the time you enter the correct code you have three seconds to open the door otherwise the servo closes automatically again let's see it one two three that's it thank you for watching this video and don't forget to visit my website for more interesting projects